I've got a problem. My car tire has a slow leak and I keep having to grab an air hose to refill it. But I've got this garden hose right here. Is there a way for me to use that to refill this? Okay, here's my idea. If you cut a small hole near the base of a balloon, stretch it over a bottle, then put something like this water filter nozzle in through that hole, when you turn the water on, it starts to inflate the balloon with air because the water pressure is forcing the air into the balloon. Now to do this right, I made an adapter to allow me to connect a water hose and then fill the balloon directly. And if we open this up, We can see how much air comes from a two liter bottle into a balloon. So to fill the tire, all I should have to do is connect to one of these and we should be good to go. So how many of these bottles are we gonna need? Well, to figure that out, we basically need to know what is the volume that it can hold. To get an estimate, we measure for two circles, calculate the area, then multiply by the width of the tire. When I do that, I come up with a little over 30 liters. Now if we picture the bottles next to each other around the tire, sure enough, it looks like there's about 15 two liter bottles. But wait, isn't the air inside of a tire compressed? With a liquid, when you fill a bottle, that's it. No more is going to go in there. But with gases and air, we can just keep adding and adding and adding and eventually, if the pressure is high enough, you can get more air into a smaller container than you can into a bigger one. Even though this two liter is twice the size of this one liter bottle, I raised the pressure so high that I was able to inflate a balloon bigger than the two liter did. So how much compression does the air in the tire need? Well, to understand that, it helps to think in terms of atmospheres. And Earth's atmosphere is so thick, it actually has weight to it to the tune of about 15 pounds per square inch at sea level. Now, if we were to double that, that would be two atmospheres, and to triple it would be three atmospheres pushing down on us all the time. That's actually a little bit less than what my tire needs. <laughs> Now, even a completely flat tire still has one atmosphere in it. So technically, I only need two atmospheres to fill it up. So 30 liters times two atmospheres would be 60 liters of normal atmosphere, meaning I need at least 30 of these two liter bottles to fill this thing up. But one two liter bottle at a time would take all day. So I've got 10 lined up that we can do it once and then we empty and start over and see how many times we have to do it. These bottles are set up to do one bottle, then fill the next one, then fill the next one. So at full water pressure, we've got eight and a half of those bottles of air have compressed into the last one and a half. So we're gonna let that into the tire to inflate it. So now we'll empty it and start over and see how many rounds it takes to fill it up. Okay, moment of truth. Four rounds of bottles, that's 80 liters of atmospheric air. Let's see if it was enough. <laughs> we did it. We just filled a tire that was completely flat, inflated it using a garden hose, nothing but water pressure. Basically, I just spent weeks designing and fabricating so I wouldn't have to walk 50 feet to get an air hose. But that's not the point. Build is about better understanding involving learning and doing. 
If that kind of thing sounds cool to you, please like, subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.